Hi Shoe Bucks friends, welcome back. This is Denise again from D Rogers. Thanks for stopping in and checking out my channel. I appreciate it. If you're new to Operation Christmas Child, be sure to check out the link in my description as to what it's all about. So today I have an unboxing for a girl 10 to 14. It is my first box for this age group. I do love packing for this age group. I think it is a special age that a gospel opportunity can really have an effect on and um, so I try to make it very special and careful in my selections. So let's take a look at what I've packed. On the top it has a little hedgehog and some stickers that I've decorated it with and then I've used duct tape to hide the printing on the side of the box. This is my hedge hugs and kisses theme shoebox. So when she opens her box, she will see right on the lid, it says, you are loved, and that's just a printout of a hedgehog. Right on top, she has a little bandana that's kind of covering up her items on top. It's in purple. And when she takes that away, this is what she'll see. And then right on top, let's see, let's take this out first. So this is her stuffy. So cute. It's a hedgehog, obviously, really soft. And so underneath that, she has her wet bag. So this is her wet bag for her, um, her menstrual pads. And in the bag, I put one pad so she would know what this is for. I put this little clothesline that you can get at Dollar Tree. And it's funny, I just heard back from a recipient from Honduras a 10 to 14 year old and she took the clothesline, hung it up and hung my card that I sent her and some family pictures on the clothesline to decorate her space. So if that's how she chooses to use it, that's great. It also can be used to hang her pads up to dry. And then these are some directions on how to clean her pads. And I think I got this from OCD for OCC, that's Trey. I think she shared that with me, so thank you, Trey. And I laminated it. And the pads, well, I'll show you more of the pads in just a bit. And the wet bag I got on Amazon, which I love this pattern. So she has a rechar uh, one of those rechargeable flashlights. I hope I didn't blind you there. That when you, um, let's see, when you release it, doesn't need a battery, it recharges. It's in purple. I thought it was really pretty and I thought it's an item that would be very useful. Okay, she has uh, this water bottle. I got this, I think, for $2 at Walmart. They're usually located in the sporting department. I really like them because they have a wide mouth at the top and so they are easy to fill up with items. So let's take a look at what I've packed inside her water bottle. So right on top, she has two pretty scrunchies. She has a lip whistle that I got from Aldi last year after Valentine's Day. She has a little pet hedgehog in a house. I thought that was really sweet. Let me see. She has all of her school supplies tucked in here. So she has a number of pencils and then some novelty pencils. And I usually try to really add a lot of school supplies for the older kids. She has a set of colored pencils. She has some highlighters and pens. So she has a red, a blue, and a black pen. She has a pink highlighter and these fun little gel pens. I think I got these from the Dollar Tree that come in three different colors. And she has a pair of scissors. There's another um, colored pencil. She has some erasers, a pink pearl eraser, a glue stick, um, a mending kit, 
what I get from Amazon and I've added a threader and an extra needle and a small set of playing cards which you are allowed to send in the USA and I put a little rubber band there's little hair rubber bands on it so when she opens it up she has something to put them back together with and I got these from Oriental Trading okay that was her cup in this little organza bag because I couldn't fit it in the cup she has all of her little fun erasers and her sharpeners so I packed three sharpeners and this year I chose to get these nice metal sharpeners um, I think Deanna Ruth showed um, on her one of her videos on her channel that she purchased some nice metal sharpeners I didn't get the same ones I got some different ones that I will link in my description but I just decided to send some quality sharpeners this year along with some of the novelty sharpeners uh, let's see she has some paper clips that I've just kind of hooked all together and some really fun novelty erasers oh and one's a hedgehog two are a hedgehog there we go and those are all her fun erasers up oh, and there goes one on flying away um, just fun the hedgehogs I think were in the Valentine's this year at Walmart underneath all that she has a little bag and I stenciled a hedgehog on her bag and the fun thing about this was um, a new craft for me. I actually made the stencil. If you saw my unboxing like recently from Michael's, what did I get in my $5 grab box? There was some plastic material in there that you can use to make your own stencils. So I found a picture online that I liked and I made my own stencil and it turned out really cute. It's a little girl hedgehog. Inside her bag, I mean, she can use this bag for whatever she wishes, but inside her bag she has her pads and underwear. And I have four pairs of underwear, a two size 12 and two size 14. The pads I got on sale from Amazon, um, they are back up high in price, so you just have to watch to see when they go on sale. I've also made my own pads before, but these were such a good deal that it was worth to buy them. Okay, underneath all that, she has a purple comb for her hair. As you can kind of tell, the colors are purple and pink in this box. She has a toothbrush with a cap on it and two friendship bracelets. Those are from Amazon. She has a purple cross, a cross I get from Oriental Trading. She has a sticky note of hedgehogs. I think I got that from Walmart. I've been collecting for this for a little bit. She has one of those um, wraps that you can use as a face covering or a scarf or a headband. And they usually come in a two pack from Walmart and I think they were a dollar for two. She has a calculator, a little purple calculator. She has a compass. Wait, I always get these mixed up. Compass and protractor. <laughs> I think I did this last year. But she has them both. So we're covered. She has a shirt. And this is actually, I got this shirt, I think two years ago from Target. And I've been waiting and waiting to do this theme but as you can see, it is a hedgehog. It's got the um, sparkly um, sequence on it that you can push back and forth. It's a size 14, 16. And I just love it. And I was hoping and hoping to do this theme. And it finally all came together. So that's her shirt. She has a little bead kit that I made for her. Put it in this little case, and then I just put a little um, label on it. She has a hygiene kit. 
in her hygiene kit she has a beautiful lip balm that I got from Marshalls very pretty pink she has two nail files in pink and purple she has a bar of soap small bar of soap nail clippers and she has a scrubby this is a little scrubby now if you crochet you can make these very easily I actually got a set of these on Etsy about a year ago and I have put them on occasion in some of my hygiene kits and then I just slid in there some of these um, they're called skateboard stickers and of course one is a hedgehog she has a fox squirrel you get the idea little doggy these can be put on anything um, the water bottle her notebook whichever she likes so that's her hygiene kit underneath that she has a card from us and the card is I think one from the Dollar Tree and I actually just improvised by putting a Valentine cut out on the front so it looks like the hedgehog is watering the flower and then inside she has our note and our picture she has a notebook that has a hedgehog on the front this came in a pack of three from Marshall's and it is a lined notebook for her really cute it's like a pink color now oh, he's on the back too she has a pair of socks little hedgehog socks I think these were from Dollar Tree she has my favorite washcloth it's purple and white with the scalloped edges it's really soft and I'm gonna get these from Amazon okay she has a little bracelet set I can't decide if I'm gonna take this off of the cardboard or not but it says peace and harmony it's really pretty it's like purple and I got this this is a time and true brand and I got it for a dollar fifty from Walmart so really pretty let me know if you think I should take it off of the, um, the cardboard okay so underneath that oh she has a bookmark that says you're on point with a little hedgehog on it and that was made for me last year from the foothills family thank you included that for her she has another pair of socks to go with her hedgehog socks she has a makeup mirror got these from the at home store and then if you open the makeup mirror inside I snuck a little owl these were from the Dollar Tree and a little hedgehog I can get him can you see that so I just snuck those inside okay on the bottom she has a composition book purple and I think I got these from Staples this summer she has her pencil pouch in purple these were from Walmart she has a little looking sharp Valentine game pad I just got that at Walmart in a Valentine pack she has a sticker book from the Dollar Tree I love these little fun sticker sparkle books especially for the older girls she has a purple 8 inch ruler that has centimeters and inches And on the bottom, she has, um, this is one of my favorite, oh, there's things falling out of here. This is one of my favorite books from the Dollar Tree. It's an advanced coloring book called Adorable Animals. And I think the pictures are lovely. And of course, in here is a hedgehog. Really pretty. There's a fox, a little cat, an owl. It's really cute. So I love that. And then inside of that, I tucked some stickers. 
some hedgehog Valentine stickers. And I also printed out for her how to draw a hedgehog. So I found these online. Just found some different ones. This was actually the pattern that I used for her, her, um, her bag that I did the stencil. That shows her how to draw that one. And this is a website I really like. It's called iheartcraftythings.com. And you can print out all different kinds of things of how to draw things. So there's a hedgehog, and then this is another one that I printed out for her. Draw a cute hedgehog. So I thought that was fun. And then the final item was her bandana, which was kind of like sitting and covering her things. A very pretty bandana. And I'm not sure, but I think I got it at either Walmart or um, Hobby Lobby. And that's my first 10 to 14 year old shoe box for 2022. I was really happy how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed it. it like I said, it takes me a little bit longer to do these boxes, but I put a lot of heart and love into them. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I will try to do another unboxing next week. And I'm not sure if I'll have a video in between, but if not, I will see you next time. So thanks again. God bless you. And you have a great day. Bye-bye.